everybody. Good morning. This is Jean here in my front room from True Love Quilts for You. Um, no tutorial today or anything like that. I'm just doing a show and tell. And um, I'm going to be doing a show and tell of some of the quilts that I've made that are more art quilts. And what jogged me uh, from doing this little video is I actually got a uh, an email back in January uh, from a, an editor of a magazine called um, Art Quilting from the Stampington Company. One of those real high-end, glossy, fabulous quilting magazines had seen my some of my quilts on in my Etsy shop and got in touch with me saying, oh, we'd love to um, show your one art quilt. I'm like, oh my word. Anyway, long story short, um, I missed an email from her. I was all like, oh yes, 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 please. But I, I missed an email from her. And then she, you know, to, to send to, for me to send in my my story. Anyway, I got an uh, got an email not just a, f a few weeks ago saying, um, did you want to be in our magazine? The deadline was the previous Friday, but maybe we could um, fit you in. Anyway, I said, I'm like, oh my word, I missed the email. Anyway, um, I was a little bit too late. So upcoming in one of their future magazines, I, I don't know, maybe, um, I'm going to be in a, I'm going to be in a quilt magazine. And it was one of these, it was this quilt that I'm going to show you. I had made this quilt, um, I, I made it a while ago. I made all of these a while ago. Um, what I did is I was on Pinterest. I think I, did I, did I do a video on this? No, I don't think I did. Oh, maybe I did. No, I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Um, uh, I was on Pinterest and I saw a real pretty uh, greeting card, real pretty, real pretty greeting card with a bicycle leaning against the wall. And I thought oh, that would make a pretty quilt. So I, I think I did do a video on it. But anyway, here's my quilt. If none of you have seen it, I made what's called an art quilt. I hope the camera shows the whole thing. It's a, um, it's more of like a collage of, of this bicycle against the brick wall and like the stucco. And what I did is people say, well, how in the world do you make these quilts? What I did is um, I actually just start from the background. And this, I just saw this, this is like a red brick fabric that you can get. You can get really pretty like landscaping fabrics or architectural fabric, building material fabrics. This is red brick. And then this is a, this is a, like a tone on tone cream and tan, but I think it looks like sort of stucco or plaster. And so that's what was my wall. And then my ground was like a gray batik for like the sidewalk. And then I, I literally just took, I just started um, building the window. The actual window panes were black fabric. And then I put on the green shutters with the hardware. And then I did, I actually had a hunk of them. Um, I have all this lace, all this lace net curtaining. I had a piece of net, lace net curtaining and I actually put it, I actually cut it and put it on as the window between the window frame. Um, and then I started making the bicycle. Now, now the, the reason I say the bicycle, I didn't have a pattern. And so I started cutting out, I just was looking at images and I started cutting out the bicycle. <laughs> And, and, um, this was my, this, let me see, let me hold on. This was my, um, idea of a bicycle. I didn't have a pattern. And my husband came in and he said, uh, after I was cutting these stupid pieces of frame out of a bicycle, he said, oh, darling, your, your frame, your handlebars are a little bit too vertical. I'm like, get out of my sewing room. This is my version of a bike. And then, as you can see, I was getting tired. <laughs> I was just cutting out circles for the tires. This tire's flat. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't make the tire round. I was, it was on the bias and it was curvy and I thought, oh, this is ridiculous. So that's my story. My tire's flat and I had to lean up against the wall. So then I just started uh, adding little embellishments. There's a lovely little bird here and a butterfly, all out of like novelty fabrics. And then I put the basket on and the spokes of the, of the wheels. I did like a real heavy dark um, zigzag stitch. I just went over and over it. Um, I, I actually, I, I, I'm showing you my um, mermaid quilt. I actually used glue stick. 
I glued everything, Elmer's glue stick. I just sort of started gluing everything to my, my constructed background. Um, and then I just started building my art quilt from there. Um, it was just sort of like when you're in, when you're in grade school and you're building collages, you're, you know, cutting pieces out of the magazine. I just did that with fabric. So that was, this may or may not be in a magazine, the story of my, my bicycle quilt. So that's that. Oh, I put an actual hanging frame on it. I put like a darker neutral background and then I put this plaid hanging frame. I, I um, bound it with like a red plaid. So that's my, my, my art bicycle quilt that may or may not be in a magazine. So cool, I had to write a, an 800 word essay um, about my bicycle journey. Now, uh, again, if you've just been following along, you'll have seen my dream big quilt pattern, or my dream big quilt. Um, I just finished this. Um, again, I put, a, I put a hanging sleeve on. This is a panel. This is a panel. Um, if you've watched episode, I believe, 95, you'll see that I just quilted it. It's about 42 inches square, 40 inches square now. Um, I just quilted this panel uh, all over feather quilting. I actually did not a tutorial, but showing you how I did it. Again, art at its best. It's just a hunk of fabric that I put in decorative quilting stitches. This is a panel from eQuilter. Uh, or this is a panel from Hoffman Fabrics, who printed it. It's a digitally printed. They come in about seven or eight or nine different colorways. I made a mistake saying it's about thirteen dollars, or about sixteen or seventeen dollars, just for the panel. And then I just quilted it. You could put borders on it. You could add blocks to it. I actually love it so much. I went and got about five or six other colorways, um, and this is for sale in my shop. Um, up close, it's real pretty. Um, I put, again, I put a hanging frame on it so you can hang it up, wall hanging, pretty on a white wall or a pale pink wall. So that's sort of another like art quilt. Now, if you've seen in my sewing room from before, you saw my, you saw my Little Mermaid quilt. Um, I made this ages ago. And again, an art quilt. I actually had a panel of, of the Little Mermaid, of the actual Little Mermaid. And it was, a, it was just a panel with all images. I just cut her out of the panel. And then I, I made, again, I made the background. The back, well, I didn't make the background. The background is just a blue and white water looking material. And I got my glue stick out. And I just started cutting out novelty fabrics of shells, of turtles, of seaside, of sand, of um, all sorts of like, you know, fish. And I just started gluing, along with the, the Little Mermaid, I just started gluing everything onto the quilt. And then this, like, coral reef is just a batik. And then um, I just cut, <coughs> excuse me, I just cut out and like, and they look like, my son said, what are the flames doing? I'm like, they're supposed to be corals. Um, that was my, that was my creative freedom. So I put flames under the water. Um, and then I just literally raw edge stitched it. It's just with a free motion quilting raw edge stitching around all of the images um, of this quilt. And then I actually, again, I put a hanging because they're wall hangings or quilts. Um, all of these are wall, can be hung up. I put a hanging sleeve on the back. You can put a rod in. And then again, the fabric is like this beautiful ocean fabric. And actually with this, I actually inserted all the, um, the binding is like a beautiful bright coral red. I actually inserted a little bit of rickrack just to add a little bit more wave movement around the edge of this art quilt. So yeah, that's my little mermaid art quilt. And people go, oh my word, they really don't take a lot of time because all you're doing is cutting out images and gluing. And then very carefully taking your quilt over to your, again, it's free motion quilting, but just taking it over very carefully and just quilting it. And as you can see, they're not big. My bicycle quilt was a bit big, um, but the, the last two were just the width of the fabric. And um, there, it, it wasn't that difficult to do, to arrange the collage. Um, now this one is my favorite. And I don't know again if I've, I've, I've done a, a tutorial. I don't think I did. I made this a while ago. I had been enamored on Pinterest and other quilting sites of bookcase quilts. But I thought, you know, the, a bookcase quilt looks like a, a quilt with a, a, a bookcase. 
Um, but they have actual like books in it or frames. I just sort of took it my step. Again, I didn't have a pattern and I'll show you how I actually, you may have seen this or not in my shop or on my um, Facebook page. What I did with this quilt, again, it's a wall hanging to be hung up and I did like a damask backing. This is my version of my bookcase quilt. And what I did is how I started this is I just got black fabric and I made, I just took a, a piece of black fabric. And then again, from eQuilter, you can buy wood looking fabric. This is like a wood panel fabric to, that like, you know, looks like it looks like wood paneling. So I just got strips of that and on top of my black I just put the wood shelving and then on that I actually just fussy cut tons of images of teacups and teapots and a few books from all novelty fabrics that I have um, I made the actual um, I made the actual vegetables and the, the cans and the jars of vegetables I actually made them out of pretty novelty fabrics. There's peppers and green beans, um, little teapots. And I actually put on um, actual lace on the shelf. I just inserted lace that I had. And then I actually put, uh, actually, actually, I keep saying that word. Um, I put in some old hankies and some old doilies that I had hanging around. And again, this is just all fussy cut pieces of uh, novelty fabric that you have to be on the lookout now. Again, um, you only need perhaps a, a, even a quarter of a yard or, or an eighth of a yard because you might get five or six images. Like this fabric had little cupcakes on it and I just cut that out. I, I glued everything on very carefully and then I just free, really free motion quilted around each image. Uh, there's a bottle of hot sauce that we, uh, came, that was funny. Um, and then I just, I just put on this little bit of gingham and, and there's a pattern for, um, canning quilts, but I, that you do, it's a block. Um, I just cut it out in the shape of a can, can. I couldn't be bothered with a block. And again, I just glued it on. Oh, I had an old fashioned teddy, teddy bear. I've, I've had this panel. It was a panel, small panel. I've had that for about 15 years. I found that in my stash and I just cut out the teddy bear. And um, I just sat him up on the shelf there. And I had some fabric that had um, some books. So I just cut out a section of that. So, and then, and then the end, I just, I just um, with a very large black blanket stitch, I, I cut out this sort of top um, molding to make the top of this quilt. And then I, I, um, I put, I continued, if you can see that, I continued it to be like the floor, the, 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 um, the shelving unit to go down to the floor with legs. And I just bound that again with, a, with the same fabric of the shelving. And as I said, the um, sort of a damask print on the back. But again, this is just a bit of show and tell of some of the art quilts. Um, lot, not a lot of, well, stitching at the end, but no piecing, cutting and gluing. And then um, you can go to town and, and, and whatever, like if you have a pretty picture, you can just um, start perhaps cutting out pretty images and, and putting it on your quilt. Quilts don't have to be blocks. You don't have to follow patterns all the time. I do, but not all the time. Maybe you just want to step out of your comfort zone and and go back to kindergarten and just start cutting out some fabrics and gluing them on. I use glue stick just around the edges and it never, I don't, I mean, I don't glue them down. Sometimes they're a little bit flappy. I'm very careful. I just do a little bit around the edges just to secure it. And then I pin baste it carefully and take the whole thing over to the machine and just start stitching down my, my images. Um, and then I come up with these, this, these quilts that are called art quilts. And, and I, like I said, I put a hanging sleeve on all of them so they could just be hung up. Or you could use that, you could use it. But um, I, this is one of my favorite ones. This is, I like this, I like this quilt here. Um, my bookshelf quilt. Um, so that's, that's show and tell for today. 
um, I just wanted to I just wanted to show you and if I, if I am if I am if they have made room for me in, a, in an upcoming issue of their magazine I will be the first to let you know um, to, uh, the, you know if, if I'm in there um, such a privilege even to be considered so um, I just wanted to share my few little art quilts with you. Like I said, step out of the box sometimes. Don't be so rigid. You really can't make a mistake here. Just, just have fun. And um, if you see a pretty image, you don't even have to. Oh, I have one that's just about this big. I was going to the beach a couple years ago and went to Barnegat, New Jersey, Lighthouse. And I saw a pretty Lighthouse print. So I came home on a piece of, like, um, well, I pieced, like, the sand and then the sea. And then the... The, I just cut out the, the lighthouse, put some turtles on it and rock, rocks. It's only about that big, but real sweet, because I was inspired by our little um, getaway down to the shore um, in New Jersey. So um, it was fun. It was fun. It wasn't anything serious, no points to match, and uh, I just had fun. You do have to know how to free motion quote, of course. But um, again, it's a nice, fun way to probably... Uh, practice. Practice makes patience. <laughs> um, free motion quilting is not for um, the faint of heart, but you can do it. Any of you can do it. So anyway, that's my little show and tell for today. I hope you enjoyed it, my um, art quilts. All right, folks. Thanks. Bye.